asset maker has arrived. And in honor of that, today I just want to do a little asset maker jam, kind of go through the, some of the basics, show you what it's all about. That way you can make a decision whether or not it might be useful for your workflow. So let's just dive right in. Uh, I set up a quick scene just so we can uh, test this easily and drag and drop our materials. Um, and uh, basically this add-on just gets installed in Blender just like how you would install anything else. It's gonna pop up in your scene tab. I, uh, it's probably gonna be down here somewhere, but I just moved it up since it's a little bit of a longer add-on. Um, let me just actually scale this up so you can see it really well. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so to start off, you're gonna see this big button. Just press the big but the big button. <laughs> the big button. Okay, shader, let's see what that did. Bam. So it basically just makes this uh, this basic shader that allows us to uh, copy and paste this to create other materials. That's all that does. Um, so let's go back to the asset browser. You'll see it right here. Uh, next, we have to just define a directory. Where are we going to be searching today? So I'll just pause and show you kind of how I'm going to do this. So this is the directory for my... Quixel stuff. I'm going to stop by Quixel and get a bunch of stuff. Um, it's going to show up here. I'm going to put that in a folder and that folder is going to live here in tile materials. Now this is actually my asset browser folder where all the stuff uh, that is for the asset browser uh, in Blender is going to be linked. That's all in the other, but for the sake of the demo, it's going to just be right in here. So I'm going to copy this path, control C, and then just paste it right in here. So there's the path where all my stuff is going to end up eventually. But I have no stuff. And since this can be used for old libraries or a bunch of new downloads, I was figuring out why not start with uh, some Quixel shopping just because that'd be fun. Uh, and I could just create a bigger library by doing this. So win-win. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to be going for tile. Not I think. I actually pre-planned that. You can see tile materials. <laughs> All right, never mind. So I'm going to do some shopping, get some tiles, probably in 2K so they download really fast, and then we can just uh, carry on. All right, so uh, time lapse. Boom, just like that. 50 materials, there it is, tiled up. Okay, so I'm going to just move these to the folder that I talked about earlier. Bam. There's that. Are we good? Are we good? I hope we're good. I'm going to say that we're good. I just hope that we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. So there they all are. We should be good to go. Now I have that directory right here, so I'm searching in it. So that's all set. Turn my rendered view to just solid. Uh, okay, so let's just dive into the next part. So now that we have materials, we have folders, we got all this stuff, directories, how do we dive in? So first, there, I would just want to point this out. There is a preset. So if you're getting materials from Quixel at 4K or from Polygon at 8K, you can set presets for all of these channels I'm about to show you. But basically, you're going to be using these channels. I'm going to add in three to search through those folders and find certain maps. So, oh, that's not the one I want. Let's go to tile materials and let's just open one of these so we can check out the naming convention. So I, I downloaded just 2K, so it would have been, so it would be faster. Um, and I can see the way that they put their displacement, normal, roughness, albedo. Okay, cool. So I know their naming convention. So just a note, when I'm done with this, I could save this as a quick soul preset. Uh, I won't for the sake of the demo, but it's there if you want it. Um, okay, so I'm going to do diffuse, roughness, and normal map. That's just some basic stuff. And I know that this is albedo, and that this is roughness, and normal. So I, I'm just pulling this exactly from, why do I keep grabbing the, the wrong one, from uh, their convention here. You can see how it said that there's an underscore in roughness. I'm adding the underscore, I guess, just to... I don't know, make it a little bit more intricate, but yeah, so I'm just taking their naming convention. Polygon uses something different. They have like COL and a few other uh, more abbreviated terms, but everybody's got something different, so that's why this is here. 
Um, so this matches with their convention for Quixel, um, and that's why you'd save it as a preset. So now that I have the term set, put that roughness diffuse. Okay, double check everything. We're all good. We move on to the bottom chapter, which is uh, just diving into this options. So you'll see this ignore missing maps. That's basically uh, once this searches, um, it will not make a material that doesn't have all three of these uh, files. Whereas if you click this on, you could actually have a missing normal map and it's still gonna make an asset out of that material uh, folder. So I like to just keep that off by default, but if you wanna mess around with it, it's there. Um, add created materials to assets. That's pretty self-explanatory, just dumping it into here. Um, generating an asset preview. That's the image that is oh so helpful when designing, so yes. Results per page, now this gets a little bit long, so you could set it down to like two or three, just so it's not super long. Um, and then filters, this is the last cool part that makes it pretty intricate, is we can basically have any term, do a search by folder, by file, by both, and have it be inclusive or exclusive. So if I type in 2K, and I have that as a file and it's inclusive, that means that every single file that Asset Maker finds and uses has to have these two letters exactly how they are here in the file name. Uh, and this is cool because you can pair it with other things. So if, say, you're looking through a library and you wanted uh, it to only access folders that said metal, then you could have that, or you could even exclude metal if, you know, so this makes a lot of combinations and allows you to have a little bit of flexibility when uh, searching through asset libraries or, or old material libraries rather, and very into uh, new ideas and, and updates. So I'm just kind of interested if people like this, uh, gladly listen to comments and suggestions because I think there's a lot to be improved, but uh, this is version one and I'm hoping this does end up in saving some big time. So, so anyways, uh, 2K, yeah, sure. I think there is 1K previews also in that. So I'll just leave this term. It's inclusive. It's for the file. Perfect. So that's pretty much it for options. Uh, now we just have the search button. So we're all pretty much set. Let's let's search. Bam. So now, make, again, it's searched in this directory that I set up earlier. And then these are our results. As we can see, the, uh, the filter this made sure that everything stayed 2K. And these, in, uh, these basically represent individual folders right here, these blocks. And then you could say, do you want this to go someplace else or do you want to delete it? But we don't need any of that. So now we're all set. It's found all of this stuff in the folder that we had, had it search. And now we're just going to hit create new materials. Boom. So basically what it's doing now is it's it's ran through all of those and now it's dumped them into the asset browser and it's simultaneously, you know, loading up the file, generating the preview and uh, here we go. So let's, uh, let's just time lapse really quick. Time lapse. Boom, just like that. 50 materials added to the asset browser. So fast, I think that was like a minute or something. And then, yeah, now we're good to go. So I'm gonna just, just to show you this works here, I'm gonna just turn up this light a little bit. Ooh, we can see, I already just dragged one on, so I guess that kind of defeats the purpose, but bam, oh yeah, boom, bingo. Hotabayoy, there it is. So this thing's working, the normals are there, everything is functioning. Oh, whoops, mistake. Um, that's pretty much the essence of it. And I'm hoping people can use this to just dive back through your old libraries, tame messy ones, save time, design more, don't spend time just messing around and compiling these all yourself. This should be able to take care of a large portion of the workload so you can just stay in the pocket. Uh, I will also point out really quick that there's, you know, with every one of these, it's just set up, um, whoops, turn the previews off really quick. Uh, it's set up just so that uh, you have the UV as the initial plugin. Now, this could be in a future update. We could have the options to switch this. We could even have a universal scale or create even uh, maybe an, an essential elephant node right in the middle, kind of doing some of our own uh, custom commands. 
And that could all be part of the asset maker's future if anyone's interested. But yeah, that's kind of a basic overview. Hopefully you find that useful. Uh, leave me some feedback, comments, questions, and uh, enjoy.